Thank you. Now to the hostile treatment our nurses are facing as they care for the surge of COVID patients. Eyewitness News reporter Henry Ramos continues our team coverage now. And Henry, we're hearing about threats, punches thrown, and even knives being pulled on our health care workers. Hard to imagine, Aaron and Sharon. And of course, staff here at Methodist, they try to de-escalate the situation, but sometimes that is not enough. They have to call up security, even police. And because of the uptick in violence here, they're beefing up security, even working with San Antonio police. Now we go in somewhat slumped, somewhat tired. Tired, overworked, and now dealing with violence. This is the reality for the nurses and staff at Methodist Healthcare. I felt like I was walking in a war zone among the walking wounded. Jane McCurley is the chief nurse executive for Methodist Healthcare System. I have been the riots in the 80s, the floods, the fires. I've never seen what we're seeing today. McCurley says while the majority of patients and their families are nice, a disturbing trend is escalating. People are angry and they're frustrated. We're seeing families fighting in lobbies. She says Methodist facilities are seeing abusive behavior towards healthcare workers. Some have received death threats. They're so angry and they're and can be so abusive. Knives pulled in a hospital. I mean, I'm going to go get my gun. How dare you tell me I have to wear my mask? She says there are a few reasons for the madness. Mask and visitation. Wait, wait times. Waiting. The ER ERs are very crowded. When you ask them to lift their mask above their nose, because that's the proper way to wear it, they become angry. She says nurses are stretched thin and they believe COVID hospitalizations have not hit their peak. They are tired and asking for kindness. For those that are angry and frustrated, please don't take it out on the team. Take it out, take it out on somebody else, not on the people trying to save your loved one's life. Spread kindness and on top of all of this, there's not enough staff. McCurley says nurses are working up to 100 hours a week. Some are dealing with three or four patients at a time in the ICU. Local leaders are calling for more help and tonight officials say that we should be receiving more than 300 additional health care workers from out of state in our area. We're live tonight. Henry Ramos, Kins 5 Eyewitness News. Hoping they get the break they deserve. Henry, thank you.